I'm Nancy Kelly, and we're here to talk about low-stress retrieval of a dog from a kennel in a shelter so that we can foster him and get him a home. When we approach the dog, we want to use all the techniques we have at our hand as though we were approaching a dog that's, that's out off-leash and, and we're just trying to get him to come up with, to us. Even though this dog is behind a kennel door, we can still use those techniques to help him alleviate a lot of the stress he's feeling from being in a kennel. So as I approach him, I want to maybe get down if I can. At minimum, you'll notice that I've got my side to him. I'm not approaching him with my full front, just walking up to him. Bringing yourself down low is a very low stress approach to a dog. Ideally, we want the dog to approach us, and he's already done that. He's, he seems like a friendly dog who wants to come to the front of the kennel and greet us. We're here to talk about low stress handling in these kennel and shelter dogs that we may be picking up to foster to help them find a home. So a kennel or shelter is a very stressful environment, and a lot of these dogs, probably most of them, were stressed before they even came here just because of their lifestyle. Stress is a physical phenomenon, and once they get to the kennel, you can hear the noise that's in here. The environment is stressful. There are people in and out all the time. Dogs are changing. Um, it's, it's just stressful. There's not a lot of quiet relaxation time, so the stress builds up in the dogs. As volunteers for rescue groups, when we come in to pick up a dog to take to a foster home to help them get a home, we want to immediately begin dissipating that stress as much as we can rather than adding to it. So this dog is approaching us and looking at us in a fairly friendly manner. There's a lot of wrinkles on his head um, indicating a, at least some level of stress is going on. We want to continue to just show him that we want to interact. He obviously does want to get out and come and interact with us. He's, he's a friendly dog, so I think it's going to be very easy to put a leash on him and take him out gently, although now he's kind of jumping up, so that may indicate he'll be a little feisty when we get him out. Um, but that's okay. We still want to, our entire goal is to make this transition as low stress as possible for him to give him a good start on his new life. So every dog you see may express their stress a little bit differently. They may be, this one was sitting, but now he's up moving around. He looks fairly normal, but I can almost guarantee you he's got some level of stress going on in his body. So our job as a rescue group who wants to come get this dog to foster him and help him find a home is to immediately begin dissipating the stress, help him get rid of that stress, and try our best not to add to it. I never want to make any quick moves, so I'll just stand up, take my leash off, not let it swing around. We, remember, we don't want to be threatening at all. Um, so we make a loop out of our leash, hold on to it, of course. Can't just let the dog come out. And we're going to just ever so quietly and nicely reach our hand in the cage door. Oh, I know. Aren't you a good boy? Look at that. Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah, look at you. Ready to go out? Come back over here so I can hit the door. Oh, I know. So we've got a low risk handling situation. He comes on out. I'm staying clear of his face. Because this dog will take treats from me, that lets me know that his stress level is a little lower than it could be. Often shelter dogs won't take treats at all because they're so stressed they can hardly even eat. But this one is pretty happy to eat treats because I don't want him pulling on the leash and choking himself. That's uncomfortable and I want him to have a happy experience associated with meats. So I'm going to use the treats to help me get him out the door. Hey. 